Hello and welcome back to It's New. This is going to be Greg and I and Morty's like 50,000th um, recording on today's, I don't know, this is the first one probably for today, but it's going to be a lot more. We have XMX later today, so definitely uh, tune in. It's free, so it doesn't cost you anything except for giving up all your information. And marketing clock on Fridays. Marketing clock on Fridays and the um, search of podcast was today. today. Okay. Um, and I think my video is on Friday, which I'm not awake for. Let's we'll start with Greg. Greg, what are you talking about? <laughs> Google is saying do no evil once again, but this time for customer match. Now you're up, Morty. Ah, uh, URL structure. Are you building something potent and powerful or is it just a sandcastle in the sky? And if Crystal gets on here, she'll be talking about merchant center sale events promotion type. And I'll be talking about CTPA metadata and how you can use it. Okay, first up this week, advertisers that are using customer match lists uh, were given a notification via email uh, this week that the, basically the use of customer match or first party data being able to upload a list to Google Ads to be able to use that for targeting via uh, audiences or lookalike audiences, uh, could go away if you misuse it. So there are a few different things that could cause your removal from customer match, where if the user feedback is bad, if there's a uh, severity of abuse or repeated violations of the customer match policy. Uh, the customer match policy is supposed to be emails that are people opted into marketing. So this definitely likely is being abused and it, there need to be some guide rails on this. So this will start January 13th, 2025. And if you are doing some naughty stuff with your lists, you might not be able to use them anymore. January 13th is a Monday. I was hoping it would be like a Friday the 13th type of thing where all hell goes breaks loose, but it's not. It's a Monday. And one interesting thing for somebody who tracks these things, Google has this advertising policy like, I don't know, change log. And Google stuck this as the second to last item on a list of probably about 100 policy updates that are made. Usually they post them on the top of the list. This is literally at the bottom footer, the second to last one under like the ones from 2022. So it's pretty weird how Google posts these things. I'm not sure how, how they figured this stuff out. Uh, but anyway, Google did email everybody about this. And um, there could be some, some severe penalties if you go ahead and uh, abuse this stuff. So be careful with that. Um, Morty, what do you got for us? So URL structure is at the forefront of John Mueller's mind. Again, it's not the first time we've spoke, spoken about it in Barry's article. Barry has all of the links to the other times that they've talked about URLs not being that big of a deal from an SEO point of view. John wrote on LinkedIn, often SEOs over-focus on URL structure, in my opinion. Uh, if the context of your pages isn't clear from the text on the page, then the URL structure isn't really going to fix that. It's like the only time that, like, you know, might be a thing is like, for example, you have like um, an adult content section of your of your website, that sort of thing. That's that's that. I don't know if anybody will believe him when he says that. But. No, nobody believes him. Um, but even back when I did the first redesign of Searches Around Table back in like 2000, I don't know, five, six, the URL structure was like a removal type format. And I'm like, I'm leaving the old URLs the way they are. And just new one, new URLs I could change um, to a new format. And I do agree, keeping the URLs the same when possible it makes sense. Back in like 1900s, um, pre-2000s, when every single URL on, on the web was like a session ID and it changed every single time you refreshed that page and generated the same piece of content, which created infinite URLs for the same piece of content. Yeah, it mattered. But I think SEOs obsess a little bit too much about URLs, keywords and no keywords in them. Um, it just makes sure they're consistent and you don't have duplicate URLs for the same thing. So definitely agree with that. And if you have an adult content, yeah, that does make sense. So Morty, be careful with that adult content. Um, now I'm going to put on the crystal. I, I just I don't have crystals um, accent. Uh, usually Greg is pretty good with accents and so forth. Crystal I don't, don't have an accent. accent. You want to you wanna impersonate crystal, Greg? She's a Californian. Isn't she, she from she's California? Just more, she's yeah. more cheery than Barry. So, yes. so yeah. So do you want, want me to do the sale events? Yeah, go ahead and your best. Okay, person. in fun news this week for retailers, you're going to love this. There is a new sale events promotion type. And this is really cool because you can go and have not just a product specific uh, sale, like a like a promotion price, um, 
and this is back to Greg. I, I, I'm not as, as bubbly and happy as her, I would say. Um, but this is, this is interesting. So this seems like it's going to be for um, just kind of like general sales that you have. And this will not be mapped to products. Let's say that we have like a category that's on sale or maybe we have a, a special promotion or a holiday sale, something like that. Um, you can have a destination URL that, that people can be taken to that explains what that sale is. Um, you get to input that URL and then you can have, uh, it looks like up to three images, uh, these promotional images that you can use. And then it does seem that this is going to be in um, the free listings only is how they explain it. So this isn't something that you add into your ads specifically, but you can um, kind of have a landing page that people can arrive on that really explains the sale. So again, this isn't tied to products. It's something that most retailers should um, love and should use, especially just um, if you do have sales, this is perfect for a holiday. Um, and yeah, it's sale events. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I'm I'm all for this. Yeah, it looks looks pretty cool. And and um, yeah, I, I it's I don't know if every it seems like it's like you said free only right now. I'm not sure if it's rolled out to everybody. So definitely take a look at that to make sure you have it. Uh, and why not? Why not take advantage of the stuff, especially. Uh, right before the holidays because it, it can make a big difference for everybody. Yeah, and then, one other note too, if yeah. you're an advertiser and you're like, why isn't this for ads? Well, you need to get creative, okay? That's what site links are for. Make a sale site link, send people to the sale page. You can still figure things out. That's what we do as advertisers is we get creative and we solve problems. So um, I just like the fact that this is a nice little addendum to any of those free listings. Right, and if you're an SEO and you don't do ads, then don't be creative. Just change your URLs and you'll be fine. Sorry, this is SEO too. If you can put, oh. punch up your listings and <laughs> you can have a sale in your listings, like what would in what world you are would the this be SEO? you are the champion of both SEOs and and the paid marketers. It's bridging it's like, bridging bridging communities and worlds. That's I right. just think I just think people, especially in the SEO side of things, they stick to the hits that they know. You know. There you got yeah. a hammer. Everything yeah. looks like a nail, yeah. right? That is a and that so, is a huge problem in the SEO world. And it's sure. like you can punch up your product listings. You can use a tool like Symprosis or Feednomics, and you can get better. You can have better attributes. You can have better titles. You have better descriptions. This is a sale event. You can look better in the search results. This is not costing you money. This isn't an ad. This is SEO. Yep. Am I crazy? Yeah. No, oh, you're not. Uh -oh. Because when it yeah, you, yeah, basically, yeah, whenever Google comes out with something, a lot of there's a whole crew of SEOs are like, I'm not going to adopt it because Google's going to kill it in a year or two. I'm like, adopt it, take advantage of it as much as you can. You, yeah. like, uh, it was like the whole thing with, um, um, what was it, um, AMP and stuff. Like, I'm not doing it because Google it stinks. I, I'm like, take advantage of it right now while it lasts. You know, the, the authorship, you know, they killed it. Anything that Google comes out with, Google, uh, SEO, there's a whole group of SEOs that, take advantage of it. There's a whole group of SEOs that abuse it until Google wants to go ahead and get rid of it. And then there's the people that say, I'm not going to do it because SEO is going to abuse it and then Google's getting rid of it. So anyway, this I do agree with you. Optimizing your presence in a search engine. This is, us. I'm sorry that feeds suck and are hard to do and you don't want to learn it. And it's not as, as easy as the stuff that you're, you're doing now. Sorry. Go go learn this and fire up a sale event. This is this me. is Randy Greg. This is not Chris uh, Bubbly Crystal. Oh yeah, no, he's you guys angry Greg. really use sale events. <laughs> <laughs> She's just so anyway, much nicer than me. He is way nicer than you. Anyway, let's talk about some new metadata. So a couple months ago, we reported how Google is going to give you the ability to um, Google's going to have the ability to say if an image was created using AI, if it was edited using like Photoshop, or if it was up uploaded using a, a photo from a camera or something like that. So now that's fully supported by Google right now. It's, it's called the um, Coalition for Content Providence and Authenticity, it's CTPA. It's a new metadata for, called the CTPA metadata. And this information will be shown up in the about this image feature. It's live as today. I haven't seen an example of it yet. Um, and somehow it's gonna be done automatically. It seems like Adobe automatically will do this for you. My again, question is, I generate an image using Midjourney. I throw it into Photoshop to stick a Google logo on it. Is that edited? Is going to know it's also mid-journey? I don't know, but I can't wait to see and, and see how this works. It's a pretty interesting little take there. And like anybody's going to click on the about this image anyway to figure that out, but it's there if you want to look at it. And then um, just a quick update on the Google November core update. So far, as of this morning, seeing a very little amount of chatter. I think all that chatter is related to previous unconfirmed updates. And everybody's telling me, oh, Google updated, pushed out the update three days before they actually announced it. I'm like... Every single time I ask Google, um, 
oh, is this update related to what you we saw a couple of days ago? They always say, no, the update is related, is starting when we announced it. So I don't know. I'm afraid to ask Google questions because Danny Sullivan's going to be like, as we said on January 41st, <laughs> <laughs> at this date, we don't do I, that. I, we yeah. Doesn't that feel like splitting hairs? Because before every update, whether it's a few days before or a week before, there's always there's always a surge in, in volatility before the update. Like they're testing something or it's part of the pre-rollout, whatever it is. Like, So it's not the actual update, but it's not unrelated either. Google says, Google opinion. tells me and both like, I basically off the record, this stuff is unrelated. I don't know what you're talking about, Barry. You're crazy. And I'm like, okay, thank but you. But you see so the rank reversals. Like it's the same, it just... Boom, reverse, boom, reverse, I, the same yeah, ranking. I, I suspect there's some testing in the wild, but again, I don't know. Yeah. We had the election 2024 update. We had the Halloween update. We had pre-updates around that. And now we have the core update that's rolling out. But once it, I never saw SEMrush so low in terms of the volatility this morning. It's the lowest it's been. Uh, so it's just, it's just like we have an update and all the t tracking tools are like, oh, everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, great being an SEO. Any event, thanks so much for listening. Hopefully see you guys at XMX later today. See you on Marketing Clock on Friday. See you on the uh, SERPs of podcast today. And then if you're still awake, maybe the, uh, I don't know what I even call it, the Search Buzz video recap on Fridays. Have a great day. And hopefully we have Crystal back tomorrow to balance my old curmudgeon takes. <laughs> hopefully. Please. I did my best, Crystal. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.